So the first thing we're going to talk about today is your method of production for drip coffee. This is your bread and butter. The first thing I want you to know is that it's important to brew into a preheated dispenser. Uh, otherwise, the dispenser turns into a big heat sink. And as soon as the coffee goes in there, it cools down. So make sure to preheat your dispenser. The way that you do that, you pull your dispenser aside and take a pitcher with hot water, fill it up about halfway, and then pour it in. Then you kind of want to swirl it around a little bit, let that steam rise, and preheat the stainless steel, and then dump it out. If you're brewing and you just finished a batch, you can go ahead and just run a quick rinse through there. You don't need to preheat it because it's still hot from the previous batch. This is our first batch of the day, so I'm doing it like this. The second thing is, you don't want to hold onto your coffee for longer than an hour. So, you have a timer and it's set for one hour. You can just put it on the timer function and push one hour and then set it up to the top. Now we're going to freshly grind our coffee. We take a filter and put it underneath the grinder and we're going to make sure that we know which side we want to grind from. So this is regular. Push this and then hit the grind button. And the coffee comes tumbling out. Okay, then you remove your brew basket and take your coffee and put it in the brew basket. And you want to shake it until it's level and even, something like that. Put the brew basket back into the brewer and then to brew, you push down right there. It'll take approximately five or six minutes to brew your batch. Don't take any coffee from the dispenser until it's completely done brewing. It's very important because coffee brew is in layers, so different things come out at different points in the brew cycle. So leave it be until you see at the bottom of the basket that it's all done dripping. This is your standard for preparing um, drip coffee. I ask that when you pull a cup and give it to a customer that you say, this is Loyola Medium, or this is Loyola Dark. Um, it has flavors of this. Um, and, and that kind of stuff is very important, and it connects the customer better with the farmer. Thank you very much. That's your standard for drip coffee.